This is a really quick um, video on how to use the Birth International's knitted uterus. The knitted uterus is ideal for showing how muscles work um, in the uterus during labour. It's also ideal for showing cervical dilatation. It's just a great visual tool. Tip number one. Make sure that you put the doll inside the uterus and don't stuff the baby in, in in your classes. Now, I would just demonstrate how I would teach a class. Well, this is my knitted uterus, and it's a great way to show you how um, the muscles in the uterus work during labor. Now, as we've discussed, there are three muscle layers in the uterus, ones that run straight up and down, ones that run diagonally, and ones that run circularly around. Now, the straight up and down ones and the diagonal ones work together to help open the cervix, which is uh, needs to happen so the baby can be born. The circular ones, their role is just to relax and allow the other two muscle layers to work. Now, what happens is when um, a woman's body releases surges of oxytocin, they bathe the uterus and cause it to contract. And what happens when a uterus contracts is it gets thicker at the top and it starts to thin at the bottom. And so during a contraction, it gets thicker, thicker, thicker at the top, and then it relaxes, but it doesn't relax 100%. It very, very slowly or quickly in some cases, gradually takes up the length of the cervix. And as you can see here, it's long. And as the labour progresses and it's getting thicker and thicker at the top, that this um, cervix below starts to um, thin out and starts to open up. And so when we're almost flush with the baby's head, so the cervix is no longer long, we can see a little bit of the baby's head through the cervix and yeah. And so it's labour is in the early stages, but it's starting to open up. And very gradually as the woman's surges get stronger and stronger, the um, uterus continues to contract and thicken at the top and thin at the bottom. So right throughout the process and as the baby, as the cervix stretches up over the baby's head and it reaches fully open when basically it's wide enough for the baby's head to move through. So that would be considered um, the cervix fully open or fully dilated as some, some health professionals term it. But the journey's not finished there. Of course, the baby now has to travel down the birth canal. And so here is my vagina. And I'll just quickly click that on the baby's head. Whoops, a daisy. So click that on. Yeah. And so the baby now has to now travel down the vagina in the second stage to be born. And so yeah, inside there is no cervix left to be felt. Enjoy this presentation. I hope you found it helpful.